Hey, Playa, you might sometimes hear that there are certain conversational topics that you should never, ever bring up because all it's going to do is get people angry or annoyed or offended by you even talking about them. So today I wanted to jump into what those topics are and why I think it's totally okay to talk about them as long as you do it the right way. This is the Just Beats, you're watching the Just Beef. For those of you that are new here, my name is Josh, and every single Monday through Friday, I make videos sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. So if you want to learn and grow, hit the subscribe button and make sure to click on the notification bell. Now, before I dive deep into these topics, I do want to say this. It's super important to be mindful of whether or not a person is capable and ready to have that conversation with you in that moment. There's always a time and place for things. So just because you want to talk about something because you're passionate about it or excited about it, doesn't always mean that's the right moment to do it. So the first thing that people say you should never ever bring up in a conversation is religion. And the reason for that is because you may have your own personal and spiritual beliefs that differ from their personal spiritual beliefs. And what ends up happening sometimes when you talk about religion is that you might find the need to try to pick holes in their religion and their beliefs to try to prove them wrong, or you might try to prove to them that your religion is right by talking about it, by boasting about it, by showing them that the way you think is the only way that can exist. What ends up happening sometimes is that when you find out someone has differing ideas from you, you see that as an opportunity to be confrontational with them rather than inquisitive. Now for me, I think the best approach is to be more inquisitive. Everyone comes to their beliefs in different ways. So asking questions as to what they believe, why they believe it, how long they've believed it, whether or not their family believes it are good ways to learn more about them as a person. Different religions offer unique solutions to the same basic questions that we all have. Why are we here? What is our purpose? How do we exist in this world with other people? What you'll start to see is that the same tenements of kindness, compassion, and understanding underlay mostly all religions. So if you focus on how a person is driven by those tenements, it becomes that much easier to engage in a conversation with them. And this kind of goes for the second taboo topic, which is politics. People say to never bring up politics ever, especially in today's day and age where people are so divided on politics. But I think what ends up happening again is that we forget about the core beliefs that drive people's actions and decisions. And that's what you really want to dive deeper into. I've talked to tons of people from the left, from the right, from the center, and everywhere in between. And basically, I always end up coming back to the same basic questions for them. What drives their beliefs? What do they truly care about? Because if you can understand what a person truly cares about, that makes the conversation a whole lot easier because you can see how they get to their points based on where they start. But if you notice, that's one thing we never really ask. How a person came to believe the things that they do? Were they raised with these beliefs? Did they see something on the news that made them scared or worried about something going on? Did they feel like they needed to step up and change the system at hand? Regardless of how they got there, it's important for you to be open to listening to it because that's going to help change your perspective of that person. And while religion and politics are taboo topics and we kind of know that, the third one I really wanted to dive deeper into is talking about sexual things. Because a lot of times people don't really know where the line is and where you can say things and where you shouldn't. And this happens a lot. Sometimes you might think that you're saying things in a playful way and that's all you mean by it, but the other person on the other end might feel intimidated or grossed out or worried about the things that you're saying to them. So how do you know where the line is when talking about sexual topics? Is it okay to compliment someone? Is it okay to make a pass at them? Is it okay to kind of insinuate something sexual with them? What's the line? My philosophy is this. If you're in a personal setting with someone where the two of you can open up to each other, you guys can share things, you can be raw and real with each other, then it's okay to be a little bit more fun and flirty. But if you're in a more public setting where there's people around or it's a more professional environment, there really is no place for those type of comments. Also, it's not always easy to know how comfortable someone truly is with you. While they may joke around with you and even flirt back, that doesn't give you an open pass to do and say whatever you want. It's always important to kind of be mindful of where they are coming from because any kind of sexual comments or sexual topics that you talk about should always be reciprocated back. They should feel comfortable talking about it just as much as you do. 
should never ever be one-sided. That's when it gets creepy and weird and you get labeled just a person no one wants to be around. And the fourth taboo people say you should never bring up is gossip. But what exactly is gossip? Is it gossiping if you're talking about someone that you care about and you want to help them? Is it gossiping if you're just spreading news or rumors about someone that you heard? Where is the line drawn? Like all of these topics, there's always a line that needs to be drawn and it's never very clear as to where that is. With gossip, I think it's important to ask yourself a few basic questions like, if I share this information with someone else, is that going to hurt the person that I'm talking about? Or if the person I'm talking about found out that I was sharing this about them, would they be upset with me? And if the answer is yes to either of those questions, then it's probably not a good thing to do. And I'm not saying that because it's a taboo topic and it's bad to do that. I'm saying it because if your ultimate goal is to build better relationships with people, then you don't want to be labeled as someone who gossips because the same way that you gossip about other people, people will then gossip about about you and all you're really doing is spreading more negativity and just bad behaviors into the environment. I think when it comes to talking about any taboo topic, there really is no clear distinction as to when it's good and when it's bad, and it all comes down to using your best judgment. But one strong thing that I believe in is that when it comes to talking about any taboo topic, you always want to make sure you're coming from a place of kindness and understanding. If that's your approach, if that's how you're leading into it, then you're never going to be argumentative or confrontational or just biased and mean towards someone. You're always going to be open to hearing what they have to say. Now, there are times where you may want to insult someone or get at them, or they may say something that offends you in those type of conversations, which is why you should check out the video over here. This video is going to break down five insults you should never say. Things you should never use as a tax against other people because it's only going to create more division between the two of you. So check out that video and I'll catch you guys next time. As always, love and peace.